Hello again. In the previous couple of videos, we've gone through the actual camera modes and the visual tools. And now I want to take you through a bit of what the round overview function looks like so that you can navigate all of the rounds in a quick fashion. This is one of the strengths of Skybox is being able to actually go through a match, even if it's triple or quadruple overtime, and we're talking about a lot of rounds or maybe just a lot of demos in a day that you're looking through. It's important to be able to get some kind of advantage in actually speeding through them and finding the relevant parts. So if you head over to Skybox, you'll see there's the timeline at the bottom that gives you the first basic sense of what has actually been going on in the game. This is pretty rudimentary as it's just an indication of exactly who's been winning what rounds in a row. And if you click forward into them, you'll see that this line just continues until the end of the game. So that's all fine. The next important function, if you click R, will bring up a round summary pop up like this one. Here, you could get a much more advanced feeling of what's going on. You can click the individual rounds and you'll see what fights have been happening, when, who's been winning them. It also has a timeline in here. And as previously noted, this timeline is important for figuring out what's been going on. In this particular example, in the fifth round, I could tell that a lot of the action has been happening late in the round. And there are certainly rounds where that is true. I could also see that the bomb has been planted and how long the round actually was. So all of these things are important factors of figuring out exactly what kind of round we're talking about. And for analysis, this is important all on its own. There are certain rounds that are more or less skippable, and there are other rounds that may well be worth diving into, like rounds where you have, let's say, maybe a low economy, you've been on a losing streak, and you finally managed to win one. These are all really important factors to take note of. And the round summary function gives you a really great advantage in actually going through and finding those rounds in a much more quick fashion. So try and test that out, get a sense for what it's like to actually view the round without even seeing Counter-Strike itself, but just getting a sense of how this plays out. Once you've done that, you can be a little bit more advanced in going into the timeline itself. And again, just trying to discover some of the correlations that happen down here. Again, I would say, as we all know from watching the game, very often any kind of death is usually foreshadowed by some kind of grenade event. It's very common for there to be a series of smokes or flashes that then turn into some kind of a fight. And we see that, for instance, in this B example over here. You see the first initial grenades being thrown. I'm just looking at the timeline. And then afterwards, there are deaths on both sides. So in some sense, in the future, if you become very good at this, you can actually probably read these executes just from the markers down on the timeline. And that's an interesting example and a good exercise to try and just get a sense of how these things play out. I want you to try and play around with all of these functions that we've gone through so far. The cameras, the visual tools, the actual round and the timeline down at the bottom. Those, I think, make a really good and strong basis for this software. Later on, I'll try and share some of the tips that I use whenever I prepare for tournaments to try and understand how a team is playing and what to actually look for. But I'll see you in those videos once you've actually learned how to use the basic tools.